Alright guys, I'm Pure Phoenix, and as some of you may know, this weekend is an open beta for the upcoming Blizzard game, Diablo 3, and just to uh, kind of capitalize on the open beta, I'm going to be doing a little playthrough for my viewers, and I am going to play as the class Demon Hunter, and I will call myself Vulcan, named after the Roman God of Fire, and the Demon Hunter uses a variety of traps and escape skills to evade the grasp of foes, lethal and agile, uh, blah blah blah. Alright, so we're going to get this underway and create this hero. Um, ooh, the Fallen Star, normal difficulty. Start game. So I'm pretty excited, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Use a J key to open up the quest log and get details about current quest steps. So I'm going to be learning the controls as we go, so bear with me if anything's a bit slow and boring, but yeah, I thought this would be an interesting mix up from the usual StarCraft 2 scene, which I will get back to doing shortly. So the game appears to have loaded. Is that me? Left click on the ground to move. Ooh. The fallen star is near. So the fallen star is near, and left click is move. Right click is a basic ranged attack. Um, the lag slightly. I think that's because I'm also recording. But let's see how this goes. So I think the red orb there is my health, and over here on the right side we have. Lose it all, okay, life, lose it all and you're dead. Um, tell me more about these. Hatred, a fast regenerating resource used to fuel the Demon Hunter's offensive ability and discipline. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And this lay is kind of unbearable, so give us a second, I'm just going to try to fix this. Alright guys, I'm back. Hopefully the game will run a bit smoother now. And I've encountered a monster, so that is... A risen undead man who died with one hit of the bow and ooh. So these guys are kind of feeding off a dead creature basic ranged attack. Man, this leg is kind of unbearable. A couple of hits. Uh, although I did read on the login screen that they are anticipating lag because it is an open beta and they are now having more players online than they've ever had before so they're, they're not really used to dealing with these issues as of yet but I'm sure by the time the game comes out it'll be fine so just taking care of these undead soldiers I do not know how to pick up items I don't think I've seen any items uh, what's up ahead ooh Captain Rumford a new Tristram fuck is it Tristram Okay, so I'm going to talk to Captain Rumford. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk to Captain. I have journeyed here to find the fallen star and purge its evil from this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. All right, where's Leah? More dead are coming. Okay, I'm going to kill the risen dead. Oh, okay, so we can't open the gates until I kill all the oncoming dead, so... I'll just keep using my bow and arrow and attacking the oncoming dead. Man, I like never miss with this. It's crazy. Okay. I uh, apparently I've killed all the risen dead. Like oh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll find Leah. Checkpoint, so you have to burn the corpses apparently, otherwise they rise again. Okay, so. Ooh, a stash! Inside lie two potions, which I will drop down to. Oop! Apparently I can't drop them down there, so I will. Ah, oh, okay, put them there. And I now have seven. Cool. So, and they get added down there. Onto that hockey, and I think Leah is in here. 
the slaughtered calf in. Uh, someone's talking to me. Cool. Um, so you're Leah. So I'm gonna have a talk to Leah. Rumford said that you survived the Fallen Star's impact. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia. Watch out! The wounded are turning. Oh no! So we do have some undead. Yeah. Whoa! They're getting a bit close to comfort. Level two, and I'll just grab this gold. I unlocked a new skill category. Left click the skills menu to pick a new skill. Uh, okay, so I'm going to choose a new secondary skill. Impale. Cost 25. Hatred. Throw a knife that can impale enemies. I will accept that. And... So now that's my right click. Ah, I see. So i got to get to level 4 to have these skills along here. And there's one for each different type, although I'll never get to level 19 because the beta does only go to level 13. But I now have the Hungering Arrow and Impale as my fighting ability. So, I need to talk to Leah again. Where is she now? Is that Leah? There's Leah. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. Yes. Then I shall put an end to them and secure your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Okay, so once again, I've got to go back and talk to our friend Captain Rumford. Uh, back in New Tristram. Fuck, my dog has been going absolutely mental today. Oh, damn, man, that sucks. So we're going to head back to Captain Rumford, who was at the gate, and he's going to tell me what to do to get this fallen star. There we go. Captain Rumford. What can I do to help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry. I will avenge their deaths. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched... They're attacking the barricade! Oh, sorry. And I'm back. Sorry, I had to take that phone call. Um, so more risen dead are attacking over here. So I'm going to use my new ability of the knife throw and I don't think it can handle the animation for that. Was well, that guy a bad guy or a good guy? Oh shit, that's a good guy. So, Wretched Mother. The Wretched Mother can swallow my blade. There we go. Oh goody, let's go down the ruins then. And I took a bit of damage there, as you can see my life bowl lived it all instead. Oh. To be honest, you guys are kind of hopeless. I just throw my knife and they kind of die instantly, but... <sighs> okay, I'm going to try my other attack, the Hungering Arrow. Oh wait, no, that's what I was doing before. So I have to head down these ruins alone, apparently. Oh no, it's a bonus objective, but I might as well do it, as it is an open beta and I only get three days. New... Oop. Old Tristram Road, and what's this new lore? Deckard Kane have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world, but the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They hmm. are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. Okay. Walking corpse. That is a big dog. That is a big dog indeed. Oh, I killed him in that way. Okay, so this is pretty cool so far. I'm going to close that as well. And in the next video, there won't be those little Skype notifications. And what is that? Oh, it's a health orb. So is this going to be about the walking corpse? No, risen dead. The first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, 
very long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. Okay, so I'm in a kind of foggy area, which is kind of creepy. Um, kind of creepy. And this walking corpse will cock a knife in the head, and that killed him rather easily. Couple of risen deads, but they're really no problem, so nothing too challenging as of yet. Although that is a wretched mother, and they're the big dogs I'm meant to be killing, so I'll take out a couple of them in my sleep, to be honest. There we go, one out of three, there's the update, and do I jump in the musty cellar? It's tempting. I'll go for it. Okay, so we're in the musty cellar. What the hell? We're in the musty cellar. What have we got here? A couple of risens. A walking corpse, my personal favourites. He took a knife or two in the head. Risen dead. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of liking Diablo 3. I'm probably going to buy it when it comes out on May the 15th for anyone who doesn't know. And I also encourage you to play the open beta over the next few days because it is one of the only chances you get, so I'm accidentally shooting barrels and risen deads apparently. But yeah, there's nothing down in the musty cellar, so when you do play, if you do do the Demon Hunter uh, playthrough, don't go to the musty cellar, it's really not worth it. So I'll head back upstairs and find two more wretched mothers. God damn it, those guys are better annoying. Um. Ooh, what are these? Quill fiends. They're a new type of monster, but they kind of seem to get one-shotted, so that's really nothing too uh, too damaging or worrying. And I'm going to continue through this really foggy part of the game. New lore, what now? Dear reader, I am Abdal Hazir, yep. adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures oh, you're great with my look. insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Oh, Why, I was recently in Gandalus, the team. where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. Oh. Bloke rates himself quite highly. I'm going to have to take out these risen deads. Ooh. See, if you, if you misclick, um, you kind of end up walking like right next to them, which can be a bit of a pain if they're melee kind of guys. I'm just going to grab that. Ooh. Damage short sword kind of doesn't help me since I'm a ranged fighter, but I think they're all dead. And yeah, they're all dead, so... I really don't know where I'm meant to find. Oh, apparently I've killed another wretched mother, so two of them are dead. When I do find and kill... Uh, pardon me, when I do find and kill the third one, I will end part one of this video because the footy is beginning shortly and I'm going to watch that and then I'll come back and do a longer part and if there are any issues in the first part such as sound issues or anything of the likes then I will adjust them accordingly. Okay, so level three and I killed three wretched mothers. Uh, I'm going to grab the gold here and I'm going to end the video here, so I'll pick up from here next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this uh, part one of my Demon Hunter playthrough of the Diablo 3 beta. Thanks, guys.